In this video, we'll talk about digital signatures. Now, what is a digital signature? A digital signature is a cryptographic technique analogous to handwritten signatures. Now, the sender Bob digitally signs a document, establishing that he is the document owner or creator. A digital signature is verifiable and non-forgeable. Therefore, the recipient, in this case Alice, can prove that this document was signed by Bob and nobody else. So how do digital signatures work? So what Bob does is Bob takes the message M and encrypts it with his private key KB. And thus he has created a signed message. Now as Bob's private key is only known to Bob, this encrypted message can only be created by Bob. Then what Bob does is he sends the plain text message along with this encrypted message to Alice. Now once Alice re receives this plain text message, as well as this encrypted message, she can verify if this document was actually signed by Bob. So how does Alice do it? So when Alice receives the plain text message M, as well as this encrypted message KBM, what she does is she applies Bob's public key to the encrypted message. And hence, she will be able to recover a plain text message. She compares the plain text message M along with this decrypted message and if these two messages are the same, then she verifies that it is Bob who signed the original document. So what can Alice do? She can verify that Bob signed it and nobody else other than Bob signed it. This is because Bob's private key is only known to Bob and nobody else. More importantly, she also knows that Bob signed this message M and not some other message M prime because the decrypted message as well as the original plain text have come out to be the same. This is very useful because Alice can take this message M and the signature KBM to court and prove that Bob originally signed the document. So let's see how do you create these message digests. Now if there's a large message, it is very computationally expensive using public key cryptographic techniques to encrypt long messages. So the goal here is to create fixed length, easy to compute digital fingerprints. So to do this, what we do is we take, um, we use hash functions. Now you apply this hash function H to M to get a fixed message size HM. Now hash functions have many properties. The most key properties are they are many to one. They produce fixed size message digest or fingerprints. And given some message digest X, it's computationally infeasible to find the original message M such that X is equal to HM. So we use these properties of a hash function. Now, once you have this hash function, what you do is you use the large message M, apply the hash function and create a small message digest HM. The two most widely used hash functions are the MD5 hash function and SHA1. With this, we'll conclude this video. And in a future video, we'll talk about certificates.